Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I have got a pretty good size stock up haul to share with you today. Um, I am attempting to do a two week grocery haul, just trying to limit, which is already pretty limited, but limit my time out um, just with gas prices going up. Just figured that might be a way to save. I'm not sure how good it's gonna do. I'll probably still have to pick up some produce or something each week, um, but we're gonna, we're giving this a shot. So I did a pretty big haul today, and um, unfortunately, I had to go out on a Saturday to do all of this, which is not the best day in my opinion. It's just so busy. Um, so hopefully I won't have to do that each time I go out, but um, we had car problems this week, and so um, I did not have access to a car unless I wanted to take my husband to work. So anyways, um, let me show you my haul. I went to Aldi, Lidl, and Walmart, and let's get into it. One other thing I feel like I should just say in case you've not seen my hauls before, we do have a lot of meat in our freezer, so I didn't buy any meat here today. Um, and I have a pretty well stocked pantry, but I'm trying to maintain that. So I buy as I go. I don't like to run out of stuff because one, that's just annoying and inconvenient. And if you wait till you're completely out of something and you go to the store for it and they're out of it, which happened today, then you're kind of out of luck. So I try to buy things just that we use often in advance. Um, not like a ton, not like a crazy amount, but just have extras on hand. So hopefully that explains a little bit of my shopping. Now let's get into the haul. Okay, so we're gonna start with Aldi. I picked up some oranges, some lettuce, some ramen. We just like to keep that on hand for our beef ramen stir fry. We just use the noodles, not the seasoning packets. Occasionally um, we'll use these for like a lunch or something. I don't like to use the seasoning packets because it's got a lot of like MSG and stuff, but sometimes I'll cook the noodles and use the seasoned salt on it. But usually that's just used for our beef ramen stir fry. Those are just on my counter because this is stuff, <laughs> just our kitchen stuff I moved out of the way. I did pick up some cereal. We don't eat a lot of this, but I kind of had a hankering for it. So it will be mainly used for like snacks. So I bought some honey grams, like all these version of cocoa pebbles, some frosted shredded wheat and some crunchy granola raisin bran just to kind of have picked up some blue corn tortilla chips these are our favorite and we don't again don't always go through them but if we have we've been having nachos like once a week <laughs> so anyways picked those up picked up some napkins a couple things of cream cheese and some butter just they're staples an avocado some strawberries some regular almond milk and an almond milk vanilla creamer some orange juice I picked up some of these to put my husband's lunches. We used to get these a lot and then he wanted a break from them and then I couldn't find them. So I picked that up today. Some sour cream, some tortillas, just to have on hand. I always like to keep a package in the pantry and we've got one open in the fridge now. Um, so I just bought another one for the pantry. More pantry stuff, just some plastic wrap, aluminum foil, some quart size and sandwich size plastic bags some croutons we don't usually have croutons in our salads haven't in a long time but my husband was like hey that would be nice so picked some of those up and then just some extra condiments for the pantry for the pantry um some ranch and italian dressing some ketchup and mustard and some chicken broth i really need to make some chicken broth because i have some chicken bones in the freezer but um even if i do that soon i will just save these then for like later um it's just nice to have on hand Moving over to Walmart, I picked up some of my organic, well, it is organic, but that's not what I was gonna say, my original chai tea latte concentrate. I haven't bought this in a little while because I've been trying to use up some of my other like tea bags that I only use for hot tea. This can be hot or cold, but um, anyways, I haven't bought it in a while. So I picked up four. I wanted to stock up on the coconut aminos. This is a little bit more expensive. It's quite a bit more expensive than soy sauce, but I really prefer it and I try to avoid soy and it's not like we're going to go through this super fast, but I just, I've been trying to have extras of, always try to have extras of condiments, but especially like I'll forget about them and we'll run out like the water chestnuts. My husband likes these um, on like stir fries and stuff. And this last time we had none in the pantry. So I bought four because it's just something I end up forgetting about. So that's why I got two of the coconut aminos. I got six cans of corn four cans of diced tomatoes with green chilies. I do have a little bit of this still in the in like my pantry, but picked up some more of that. Some cultured buttermilk. I use this to make um, my ranch seasoning mix. 
So um, I just picked up another one of those. My husband wants, wanted some bread for sandwiches for lunch this week. A lot of times he just does like a snack plate, but he wanted some of these. So these are two for 66 cents. So we picked up four of those. I'll put these in the fridge just to make sure they stay like good a little bit longer. I bought a few bananas. I picked up some chapstick, some lip balm. Um, I really like this one. Um, it's organic. I'm, I prefer organic in general, but I'm also very sensitive to like products and perfumes and stuff like that. Um, and a lot of the chemicals and stuff. So I love this one and it's only, I think a dollar 97, which is really not bad. Um, I mean, I know you can get lip balm cheaper, but that's really not bad. Some band-aids, some command hooks to hang something up. This is one for like, that's good for certain types of hooks. Um, so I needed one of those. I picked up some S hooks. Um, well, these are actually flower pot hooks, but these are smaller and cheaper than the S hooks. And these will work just fine for what I need them for. I'm gonna be using these actually in my pantry. I picked up some Q-tips, some um, body lotion. This is the one I usually use and I keep one upstairs and one downstairs. So I picked up another one of those. I picked up two of these flowers, which is kind of a lot, but um, it's good for quite a while. And I could not find this the last few times, even though their app said they had it. I could not find it. So when I found it today, I was like, you know what? I'm getting two bags of this. Um, I like that it's unbleached and I do like that it's organic. We do use a lot of like almond flour and coconut flour, but sometimes this is just helpful to have on hand, just an all purpose flour. So bought two of those. And then at Lidl, I picked up some yellow potatoes, gold potatoes, whatever. Some cheddar cheese. I just got four blocks of that. Um, some joggers. Um, for my husband, we actually got two of those, <laughs> but um, uh, one of them, I, I had him try it on to see if they worked. They're a little bit big on him, but he's not sure if he's gonna wear them to like, I don't know, like run or, and stuff in, or if he's just gonna wear them around the house. He said they're comfy, they're a little bit big, but I think they're like $7.99. So <laughs> picked up two of those. Um, picked up a spaghetti squash, this healthy food sandwich with the Peeps. I like Peeps. I know not a lot of people like Peeps but I like them and I treated myself. And then my husband saw these gummies that were really, I don't know, really good texture. Gummies at Dollar Tree are seriously so expensive. Like it's $1.25 now and the packaging is so small. I think they're like six ounces or something. Anyway, so I got two bags of these, these little mice and frogs and then a cucumber. We already have tomatoes on hand for salads. A couple other things that would not fit on the kitchen counter. I got this big 30 count of toilet paper from Lidl. We actually don't really need toilet paper right now, but it's not like there's a shortage of it. And this is my preferred one and they don't always carry this big pack. So I picked it up today while um, I saw it because I prefer this one. I picked up a couple storage containers for storage, <laughs> for some organization. And then we picked up two of these lamps from the Dollar Tree. Uh, I think I'm going to use them in my guest bedroom that, I mean, they're only $1.25 and we've not used these ones, but we have bought their other ones that they have. It's like a desk lamp with like a little, I don't know, snake neck kind of on it. And it actually works really good. So we were like, yeah, let's give these a try. Um, I like, like the design of them and it has like a little switch. I don't know if you can see it on here, like on the cord, which is helpful to me, I think on nightstands because it's kind of hard to get in there to like turn it off at the light bulb source. So I like ones that have this. So anyways, got two of those for guest room. Not bad for buck 25. All right, so I have a very rough um, meal plan for the next two weeks. I usually plan about four meals a week and then with leftovers or eating out or like just kind of pulling a whatever on the weekend. Um, but I only have seven down here and I'm not sure when I'll do what, I gotta look at my schedule and um, see what we have going on and plan to use like the potatoes I already have or that I bought in this haul, making sure I use them, you know, before they go bad. So I'm not sure the order, but I do have some quesadillas or I'm sorry, some tortillas that are already open. So we're gonna have some soft tacos. We don't do that, I haven't done that in a while. Um, we're gonna have chicken Alfredo with spaghetti squash. My husband mentioned that and I have made this before, but it's been a long time. Cause some quesadillas of some kind, not sure exactly what we're going to put in them. Um, so some of these are going to be played by ear just kind of based on what we have on hand. 
Um, chicken burrito bowls, haven't made those in forever. Nachos, we've been having these a lot. I don't know if we're gonna do beef nachos or chicken nachos. Once again, I'm gonna kind of play it by ear based on which, when we eat them. Um, like for instance, if I pull chicken out for the chicken Alfredo and don't need all of that chicken, they maybe will have chicken nachos. So I'm just gonna play that by ear a little bit. Some beef ribs with some roasted potatoes and some broccoli and then some barbecue chicken thighs with mashed potatoes and green beans. So that is my thoughts on what we will eat over the next two, two weeks. So that is it for today's video. Um, another thing to add in is that um, I also have like a lot of frozen veggies. So I keep a lot of that on hand and I kind of stocked up on that another time. So I usually alternate what things I buy. Um, and by stocking up, again, I'm not meaning like a crazy amount, but um, I kind of alternate the things that I do that with. So anyways, that is it for today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new so you don't miss out on my future videos, including my what's for dinners. And that's it for now. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.